And still in Taiwan news, a small luncheon was hosted by the embassy for the five successful students who were awarded a MOFA scholarship. In attendance were Minister for Education Mrs. Sharmin Scotty and Secretary for Education Dr. Marzia Gizibu. The awarded students will depart Nauru for Taiwan on the 28th of this month. Reporter Kroni Samano spoke with Ambassador His Excellency Timothy Siang and asked him more about the MOFA scholarship. Because this year the numbers of applications uh, more than previous years, this year in the beginning we have 10 applications, then after screen by the Department of Education, we send 8 applicants to Taipei. And then they decide to, because the number is increased, that's the reason why we have more students go to Taipei this year. So I understand that the students selected for the scholarship will learn a year a Chinese Mandarin. This, does this mean that they will be studying in Taiwan, speaking in Chinese for the whole five years? Because the scholarship offered the opportunity for students to study in the normal university. That's the reason why the first year they're going to learn Mandarin. And after one year, based on their own interest, they can apply the majors or the university by themselves. And all the class, the courses will be proceeded in Mandarin. So it means after five years, if they can succeed it, they can speak very good memory. Then about dropout rates, if there are dropout on this selected few, will they affect the next lot? I will not exclude the possibility because basically in, in Taipei when they decide how many scholarships are given to one country, usually they will take some criteria, just like dropout rate for reference. So this year we have five, it means we have more than previous years. So if one or two, definitely there will be effect in the following years. That's the why we do encourage students to complete their studies as well possible for not failing and probably to affect the following years. Yeah. Ambassador, thank you. thank you. Reporter Kronisa Amano also spoke with the five students and asked them about their future career and the reason why they applied to the scholarship. I want to work for fisheries and I want to become a marine economist. Um, I applied for the scholarship because I heard that um, <clears throat> that it's like from the other students there, it's an okay scholarship and you get to learn their culture, you know, like totally different culture. And I also want to work for the fisheries. The career I wish to pursue in the future is um, IT. I'd like to be an IT administrator. I want in the later future of my career. And the reason I applied for MOFA scholarship is because um, Taiwan is one of the internationally renowned countries that is acclaimed in IT support, technology, gadgets, and all those sort of things. So I'm really interested to see how Taiwan is in, in, st in the stage of technology. Um, my main interest is economics, mainly because especially in the marine affairs area and mainly because I'm interested in maths and economics and it lays more opportunities for me if I ever make it as an economist. Your first day will be learning Mandarin Chinese. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, it's, this uh, Mandarin Chinese is all new for us so it's going to be really hard but we'll do our best to learn Mandarin. <laughs> I guess it'll be a great experience to learn another language, especially one that we can relate to here on the island since uh, there's a lot of Chinese people on the island, so I think it, yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a useful one. I understand this will be a five-year study program. Are you prepared to take the scholarship? It's going to be a long while. It it may take some time, but uh, if we manage that, if I manage my time properly, or if any student manages their time properly, I, I guess it shouldn't be too hard as, as long as we study hard and work hard. We'd just like to thank the Taiwan Embassy for this opportunity they've given us to further our studies and our interested careers and thank our families as well for their support. Um, and once again, just thank everyone else as well for their support. Just, uh, we would like to thank them for giving us the opportunity to go and learn their part of the world as they have in ours.